how pretty is that view? <laughs> the fog isn't ideal for wildlife photography but it definitely makes for a lovely landscape view. I am hoping that you know the fog is going to clear away. I have come all the way to the RSPB's Loch Leven Reserve, Loch Leven, not Loch Winnock this time, <laughs> Loch Leven Reserve which is in Perth and Kinross, a beautiful part of Scotland that I have not spent much time. So I came here which um, it's about an hour and 10 minutes, hour and 20 minute drive for me. Um, driving along, very excited. Um, clear skies, I was like, it's going to be a beautiful day. And I just came off um, the motorway and just came into a pocket of the thickest fog. Like, like you can't see the car in front of you fog. And I was like, you know, <laughs> most people would maybe be like oh this doesn't make for ideal driving conditions but I was like oh no I won't be able to see any wildlife in the fog I won't be able to get pictures <laughs> which shows where my priorities are so I got here and though I was oh sorry big step <laughs> although I was fairly disappointed about the weather I was like I've driven all this way I'm going to just go for a nice woodland walk in the fog and just enjoy being outside and um the Woodland Walk takes you up a hill, and which, let me tell you, definitely woke up the old legs after over an hour of driving. And I'm actually so glad that I walked all the way up here because that view is just beautiful. And also, good news from up here, you can see the fog is actually clearing down below, so you can actually see <laughs> a little bit of Loch Leven now. <laughs> so I'm hoping that that does mean the fog is clearing away and I will be able to get my camera out and get some pictures. <laughs> It does not look like the fog is cleared. I am just kind of descending the hill again and very much just about to re-enter the fog. So, um, yeah, but we can still hope that it is going to clear a little bit. You will be pleased to see and to hear that I have my camera out since you know this is a wildlife photography vlog not a aimlessly wandering through the woods vlog. <laughs> I have my camera out because I came here hoping to photograph red squirrels. I mean I'm not so sure now but I've got my camera out just in case because we are firmly in red squirrel country so I'm I am hoping that we will be able to see at least one and maybe get at least one photo of one. <laughs> the odds aren't in our favor but we can hope anyway <laughs> I did just see a red squirrel. Didn't get a picture of it, but I saw one, so they are around and I'm just going to wait and, and see if I can see another one and hopefully actually get a picture. We'll see. Sorry, there's so many birds just flying around. I'll try and get some pictures of those too, so at least I have something to show. <laughs> I'm 
just kind of crouched by the feeders. There is one that has nuts in it, so I'm hoping that they'll come here and I'll be able to get some pictures of them. Because at the moment I'm kind of of the mind, have I driven over an hour just to get pictures of birds that I show you guys all the time and I could probably photograph in my garden? Quite possibly, but... <laughs> At least I, I've seen a red squirrel, I just hope that I can get a picture or a little video to at least show you guys so that we've all seen it. <laughs> Not me just jumping quickly to the toilet and then coming back and a guy being here like, oh, did you see the red squirrel? It was just bouncing about here for ages. <laughs> it is just so typical of me like that. Of course that would happen. I have photographed red squirrels before, but it was years ago before I properly got into wildlife photography. Like so long ago, I don't even know if I still have the pictures. And then I got a picture of one in my first vlog back after my hiatus, but it was just its bushy tail. Um, I saw it near Loch Lomond, which I imagine is the very edge of their range. Um, so they're not common there at all. I was very surprised to see one. Um, so that's why I came here hoping to get better pictures now that I'm, you know, properly into wildlife photography. But there's still time, you know, I just have to be patient and hope that one makes an appearance. Okay, I got some pictures of a red squirrel. Are they good? No. <laughs> but I got them anyway. Um, and I'm just going to wait and see if I can see one again and maybe get some better ones. But at least now that I have at least one picture, it wasn't a completely wasted trip. <laughs> Unfortunately, I am having to concede I want to avoid the worst of the rush hour traffic if I can, especially in this weather. You know, driving on the motorway through Glasgow can be hellish enough without adding in fog. <laughs> so I'm going to have to head um, without the red squirrel pictures that I really wanted to get. But that's okay, because I still loved getting the chance to see one there are so few left in scotland um you know for a variety of reasons you know loss of habitat and in competition with invasive gray squirrels um so getting to see a red squirrel is a treat in and of itself so i don't mind not getting the pictures that i wanted i got a picture to show you guys and we got to see one and that is what counts other than that it has just been a nice day despite <laughs> despite this fog that in the end did not clear um it's just been great to get somewhere different and you know as much as i did kind of complain about photographing the same birds that i would maybe see in my garden it was still nice to photograph them uh there was a green finch and amongst all all the usual characters um green finches i don't really get to see that often so um it was nice to get a photograph of that and yeah i can't lie i am disappointed about the red squirrels um but it just means that i will have to come back soon hopefully on a day with better conditions <laughs> um and yeah we'll just keep trying and one day i will get that picture of the red squirrel that i will be proud of um but until then Thank you so much for watching. I hope you enjoyed and I'll maybe see you next time. Bye. Okay, side note, I just bought this very cute glasses case from the shop. How cute is that? Look, it has a kingfisher on it and a long tail tip to my favorites next to each other. That's so cute. Um, I'm always misplacing my glasses whenever I've got my lenses in. So this was a very good find. <laughs> and it's just, like I said, very cute. Okay, that's it. That's, that's the end of the vlog now. For real. Bye. <laughs>